Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Rick. If you're new here, please check out my playlist for other videos you might find interesting. Today we're going to go over in fairly good detail this Opus 600 watt portable power station. And as many of these products, they get sent to me and I check them out and give you my honest opinion. I do not get paid to review this. I do not get any money from sales or anything like that. So honest opinion here, what I like, dislike, all those kind of things. So straight out of the box, you're going to get your power station warranty card. There's a 24 month warranty on this item. You also get your little user's, user's manual and then your charging cables. Um, there's actually multiple ways to charge this device from your car, from uh, the AC at your house, which is you use this power pack. And then you can also charge it with solar panels, which I don't have to demonstrate but you can use a 100 watt solar panel to do that. And you can also use the AC adapter as well as the 60 watt uh, USB port here. And a little bit later, I'll show you a demonstration of that and how many watts it increased it when you plug in the USB along with the AC system here. This thing comes with a battery management system. And I'm just gonna read this off to you so I get it right, but it has temperature control, over voltage protection, over current protection, and a short circuit protection built in here. Basically, if you try to plug something in that doesn't work, you'll get a little error message and it just won't run. It's not gonna blow up or cause any problems. So let's see if it'll run this. All right, so it will not. And you can see right here, it's giving you an error code and it's flashing what's going on. So basically, This is a lithium ion phosphate battery which apparently is better technology than the old ones that they used to make like this. And they say a 10 years or 3,600 battery cycle. So it's gonna last a long time and give you long-term use. You can charge up to eight or use and utilize eight different things at once. And let's go over real quick just what, what we have here as far as uh, plugins. You have two AC, uh, plug-ins here you have a 12 volt for the car you have smaller 12 volts here which are 5 amp i believe and then you have your 60 watt usb and then two standard usbs one of the things that i've learned to really like about this little unit is it has a really nice led screen right now it's showing us what the battery percentage is that we have left and one of the very cool things is when you plug something into it It'll show you how many watts you're using and it'll give you an estimated time of use as well underneath. And I'll show you that here in just a second. It weighs about 15 pounds. So it has this nice handle to carry around with it. And another very cool thing that they built in is a three phase, three mode LED light here on the back. And there's very bright, even brighter, and then an SOS type deal. So that'll be also very useful for around the campsite um, or wherever you happen to be using this little guy. I talked about it in one of the other videos, but for me, the big place I'm going to use this is when I'm out filming and to charge my drone batteries, my camera batteries, my cell phone, my iPad that I sometimes take with me. Um, it'll be very, very useful for that and it'll definitely last all day for sure. Um, I'll also use it when I go camping. Clearly, if you have a power outage at your house for a little while, you can use this to run your internet. You know, some people have CPAP machines, things of that nature. I use it to run my camera lighting in remote locations, which is really cool. So there's a lot of useful places to use this little guy. And I've been very impressed with it so far. It has a lot of features packed in here for the price and for its size. So. Let's get into plugging some things into this and I'll show you um, how the instrument panel works here and you get an idea of how, uh, how it works. All right guys, so let's take a look at how this works and how the display works and everything. So we already have the power on. Like I said earlier, it does go to sleep. So we'll push that right now. We're showing 69% battery life, no watts coming out and about 29 hours of use left if we just left running the LED and then this little guy lights up as well. I have my iPad open because it's pretty much charged already. And I, I wanted to make sure we're pulling some Watts here. My cell phone is the same way. It's fully charged from last night. 
So let's find something to take a look at here. Okay, so the cell phone's open. So basically it's, it's pulling 18 watts right now. We would have about 12 hours left of just running this iPad the way it is. We're gonna plug in the phone now, which the phone is also charged. So I've got that open as well. We'll see if it, if it actually pulls anything. Of course, like I said, you have to turn it on first. There is a little button here and there's buttons on all of these guys, if I didn't mention that. All right, so you can see it jumped up to 22 watts. Now we're down to about 11 hours. And now we'll plug in our GoPro batteries. See if that, that, these the other day when I was playing around with it didn't really pull much on the way a watt. So looks like maybe one or two. All right, and last but not least, we'll plug in uh, the drone batteries and see what that shows us. So you can see again, the watts jumped up, what we're pulling here. And it's saying with all of this, about four hours at 69%. Now's a good time I'll put up on the screen what the manufacturer says, how many charges you can get out of here with different devices. All right, you can see there I went to sleep. So I'm gonna unplug the drone, or actually the iPad, we'll unplug that guy. I'm gonna plug in one of the lights in here that I'm using. And just see what, what that does to our system here. And I'm not sure if you can hear it, but the little fan kicked on. And that usually runs at about 48 decibels. Hopefully you can hear that. It's not super loud, but you, you will notice it when you're inside messing around. All right, so let's talk about charging this Opus 600 watt generator. There's five ways to charge it, like I mentioned, and I tested these all out except for just the USB-C port by itself, and I do not have a solar panel. But I'm gonna show you some examples of uh, what kind of wattage or inputs, input wattage you are getting when charging. So this is just AC power, looks like 95 watts, and that was pretty consistent. I left it charging that way for a while and kept an eye on it. This here is actually AC as well as the USB-C in conjunction, and it jumps it up to about 115, at least with the cable and the outlet that I was using. From here, I actually charged it in the back of my Jeep. I have a 12 volt outlet back there, and it's a little bit less than the front. This one's showing 65 and up front, 77. So multiple ways to charge this guy. Right here on the screen again is, this is up to 80% of power in these time frames. Uh, when I first got it, it was around 60% charged and it only took maybe three hours to get it all the way to 100. So no problems there. So far, uh, I am thrilled with this little unit. As you can see, it'll, it'll run and charge a lot of devices at the same time. For me, it's gonna be phenomenal for filming for the day because of how small it is and how easy it is to move around at just 15 pounds. Um, with the various ways you can plug things into here and the various ways you can charge it, it it's awesome. Um, I really, at this point, I have nothing negative to say about it. Uh, the only thing that would be better is if it was bigger and they do make an 1100 watt version if you need something that's gonna last you a little bit longer and maybe not be quite as portable. But, you know, packed full of features for a very fair price and seemingly over the last two or three weeks I've been using it, works very, very well. So as far as recharging times go, it's been, what I've been experiencing is very similar to what they're saying in the manual. And again, check out that link to get all, that, all those details. But, as far as overall features, again, great little unit and I would highly recommend it. So questions or comments, please leave those below or bigger questions, longer questions, send me an email. Thanks for watching guys and we will check you out next time.